Hi, I'm Philip from Prague ICU and today I'm going to show you how to perform basic sutures in the ICU. This is the most commonly used skin stitch called simple interrupted stitch. You should pierce the tissue perpendicular to the upper and lower surface to avoid inverting or everting the skin. Every stitch ends with a knot that should lay outside the wound. Pay attention to tightening the knot with care as too much tension may cause ischemia of the tissue. You can tie the knots with hands or using instruments. Depending on the thread material, you should place at least three knots using multi-filament thread and four to seven knots using monofilament threads. The second one is horizontal mattress stitch or U stitch. It starts from one side, cross to the other side. Then reinsert the needle at the small distance from where it emerged and take it through to emerge on the original side a short distance from the first entry. It offers good adaptation of the skin and strength. On the other hand, there is a high risk of ischemia of the tissue. So-called Z-stitch or X-stitch differs from the previous one in that after crossing to the other side, you reinsert the needle on the original side to emerge a short distance from the first entry and take it through to emerge on the opposite side. It's commonly used after percutaneous procedures as are catheter ablations and peripheral ECMO decannulation. The purse string suture is a technique to either shrink the size of a defect or close it entirely. It also can be used to reduce or stop bleeding around the central venous catheters or cannulas. It's a form of running stitch with the thread running in and out along the edge of the circular wound. Thank you for watching Prior ICU and stay tuned for our next educational videos.